Hello, my name is Eric Walker. I'm a third year MBA student at Florida Atlantic University. Today I will be doing a comparative analysis between Farnack Robotics and Rockwell Automation by utilizing the HOPE methodology. Farnack Robotics is, a, is headquartered in Oshino, Japan and focuses on manufacturing factory automation. Machinery are operating in three segments. Factory automation, robotic segment engagement in the development and manufacturing of cells, factory automation products in the robot machine segment developing RoboCut and RoboCutter products. Rockwell Automation is headquartered in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and provides industrial automation and information solutions worldwide. Operating in the architecture and software segments, providing control platforms in the control products and solution segments, offering low and medium voltage electromechanical motor starters. The relative wealth charts described have the descriptions where we can see that both historically they have produced dissonant CFRI spares while also outperforming their respective benchmarks. Rockwell Automation has been seen as a positive CFRI growth over the past five years, which has occurred in a tangent with recent surges in asset growth. Together, these two factors indicate that the management is utilizing assets efficiently. In the future, CFRI levels are reflected remain high, relatively high near 0% projected asset growth, creating headwinds against the stock valuation. Conversely, <coughs> Phonic Robotics experienced substantial asset growth in 2014 and 2017 which was followed by a 2% decrease in CFRI levels, reflecting a steep decline in asset growth resulting in the CFRI levels dropping to about 8% by 2025. The HOPE methodology indicates that the potential evaluation of both firms, the Rockwell Automation having a competitive advantage at 8%. The pricing analysis does reveal concerns about the valuation, indicating very good deviation for Rockwell Automation and a weak bias of negative 1%. While Phonic Robotics has a much higher good deviation of only 11%, but a strong bias of 24%. Both investment opportunities offer attractive investments appeal to different types of investors. One hand, Rockwell has consistently positive CFRI spread are projected to continue above the market expectations in the future with a strong correlation to market projected prices. Phonic negative downside of 4% is only ideal for moderate risk investors. Conversely, the upside 4% is most suitable for a moderate risk investor who has a higher risk appetite due to the strong divergence between market and projected expectation of the CFRI. Thank you. This now concludes our